Hello YouTube, EasyGoingMC back with another Redstone video. Today we're taking a look at a honey farm for Minecraft versions 1.15 and up. This farm is working on 1.16, as you can see right here, I am in 1.16.1, and I'm pretty happy with the farm I'm about to show you guys today. It combines a couple of things I've seen in other people's farms as well as some ingenuity of my own, so I'm really hoping to show you guys a decent farm today. Before we get into the video, I would like to say that if you're not subscribed already, uh, that the vast majority of my viewers on my channel, something like 97% of my viewers, are not subscribed. It's really easy to subscribe, you can always change your mind later, and it means a lot to me if you guys could do that. But other than that, let's get into the video. I now like to give credit where credit is due, the first person being a Zoomavoid who figured out you can turn the farm off uh, in a very clever way. Uh, with this trapdoor system right here in the sticky piston and also the eagle eye who used a very similar system to detect when the hive is full using the signal strength it gives off with a comparator output so i'll link both of their videos down below they're great videos to watch and i definitely recommend checking them out now let's talk about what the guiding principle of this farm is essentially the guiding principle is that a bee will work pollinate itself and then once it's pollinated it will re-enter the hive in order to produce honey and we probably will see this with one of these guys soon. However, as it produces honey, what we're actually gonna find is that it gives a signal strength off. So this one is currently full of honey, which is why it's giving off a signal strength of five. And we're actually able to detect this as we just heard when the dispenser went off. When it's full of honey, what we're able to find out is it emits the signal strength of five, which then we use over here to power a dispenser, which is either loaded the glass bottles, which farms the bottle of honeys, or it has shears in it, which farms honeycomb. Uh, and that detects it because the dispenser gets powered and then it will pick up the honey bottle or farm some honeycomb. The way this farm works in terms of turning on and off is that when this farm uh, is in its off state, this strap door covers it up. However, even if there are still bees out of it, they can still enter. They just can't leave the hive at this point. And we can actually demonstrate this right now. So we set the time to midnight and then we set the time to noon. Normally, the bees would pop out. However, if we let them go like that, they will all immediately pop out. Say we close this again, and we set the time to midnight. What we'll see is that these bees will be able to go back in, and we should see that shortly. They might attempt to work before going back in, but that's not a big deal. Um, but yes, that's the system of how it turns on and off. And then beyond that, we have a small system of hoppers and chests in order to distribute bottles or shears, whatever you decide to choose. All right, and as you can see, they went back inside. All right, let's now get into how to build this farm. To build this farm, you need the following items. You'll need a dispenser, a hopper. Uh, this is per slice, FYI. So per slice, you'll need a dispenser, one hopper, grass block, a flower, a one haul flower of your choosing, a nine glass, a comparator, reds to five stone dust, five building blocks of your choice, two half slabs, a sticky piston and a trap door as well as a beehive or a bee nest that has at least three bees uh, and i recommend you check out my bee breeder tutorial if you're curious on how you get large quantities of these and i'll link that one down in the description as well you also will need glass bottles and or shears uh, in order to farm the honey bottles or in order to farm the honeycomb in terms of the shears. An important thing to note is that the dispenser, if you are choosing glass bottles to farm the honey bottles, uh, the dispenser does need to remain full and have a glass bottle in every single slot. Otherwise, instead of just spitting the glass bottle into the hopper, it will actually pull it back into itself and you won't actually be able to farm. So you just gotta make sure you fill this up and have a decent backup of supply uh, I'd recommend just backing it up to one double chest, and at that point you can just recycle all of the bottles. Uh, you don't have really have to worry about it running out, but I will show you how to reset the farm in the case that that does happen. All right, let's now get into the last thing you'll need to build this farm, which is you'll need some redstone dust and possibly some repeaters in order to add this redstone line above, and you also need some hoppers in order to distribute the system. The reason why I don't have exact amounts is because this farm is fully scalable, so you can build one slip, one layer, two layers, or 35 layers, or 300 layers. It's sort of up to you and how big you build this, which is why those numbers vary. All right, let's get into actually building it now. All right, let's now build one little sliver of this farm, so one modular. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is just place an output chest. This could go into more hoppers or in the nothing, it sort of depends on you, but this is where the output of the farm is going. Uh, so the next thing you wanna do is place a grass block at this level. So you in the back of it, you have the hopper going into your output just like so. 
You can also go ahead and plate your dandelion or other one tall flower. And you want to place glass just like so. The next thing you want to do is place three temporary blocks, break these two, and then place a dispenser right here. Then what you want to do is you're going to want to place a piston right there also on that block. And then you can go ahead and place a trap door right there on the piston. And then you're going to want to go ahead and build this up by one more block, just like so. And then what we can now go ahead and do is add the comparator system to the back. So moving forward, you want to place a solid block right here. And you want to go ahead and place two solid blocks, just like so. You want to place a slab at this level right here. Then you want to go ahead and place two solid blocks right here and then another slab. And then you can build redstone in the following fashion. So a comparator coming out of that block. Uh, then one, two, three, four, and a five pieces of redstone dust, just like so. At this point, you want to make sure you have bottles or at least keep the farm off until uh, you fill it with bottles. But I'd recommend just, you know, as a basis, just filling the dispensers to begin with because now we're actually going to place the beehive in. So you should already have this loaded up with bees uh, and you should just quickly cover up this glass so they can't escape because they'll probably instantaneously come out. Uh, but if you don't, you could technically bring bees into this system just like I did right there. Uh, but you should, you can get these with three bees already inside with Silk Touch. I'll link a video down below on how to do this, but it should be a little easier. You don't have to bring the bees individually in one by one. That'd be a big pain in the butt. So I definitely would make sure to do that. All right, so that's one modular of the farm complete. I'm gonna build a couple others and then I'll show you guys how to do the distribution system as well as the on off system. So this is what three modulars would look like chained together. You can just run these hoppers all down in a line to your output chest. Uh, and then make sure you have these suspensers filled up before you turn the farm on. Uh, you could just put the on off switch in first before you actually load up the beehive so you can make sure they're not actually farming honey. Or I'll just show you how to fix it in a sec. Uh, so the first thing you wanna do is we can add the on off switch at this point. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to make sure you're using top half slabs and this is important so you don't power the hoppers that are distributing the bottles or shears uh, in just one moment um, so you just want to go ahead and just place redstone on top you might not need to place a repeater if you do make sure it's in between the pistons otherwise you won't power one of them uh, so that's important to note and then at the end of it you can just place a lever or a power source of some sort and that will turn the farm on and off. So this is its off state and this is its on state. The next thing you want to do is you will probably want to add a hopper distribution system for your shears or bottles. In order to do that, it's pretty simple. Just place some hoppers right here uh, and then just yeah, make a chain like this so they'll evenly distribute. And then you can throw a chest on top just like so. And that's basically it. If we load it up bottles, we'll see that they can flow through the system. You could also add shears, totally up to you. Uh, it's kind of whatever floats your boat, to be honest, just like that. And those should be running through the system as we can see right there. All right, so now let's talk about a situation where you may accidentally break the farm because you ran out of bottles or something and you have a situation where it's powered but it hasn't actually spit out any honey. Uh, so this situation can be yeah, quite annoying to deal with, um, but it is easily remedi remedied uh, if we let these guys out. What we can see is, is that this thing is full of honey still, right? But the dispenser is powered. So even if we added bottles back, nothing's going to happen. And it's really as simple as just coming here, breaking that redstone, and replacing it. And that fixed the issue. And this actually demonstrates the other issue I was talking about, which if this happens then it could technically spit out the honey bottle instead of one of these glass bottles, which would cause a situation where the dispenser got powered, but didn't actually collect the honey, which is why you need to have this full of stuff. It doesn't matter, however, with shears. You could just have one shears, but uh, you might as well just fill it with shears because it lasts a lot longer. All right, guys. That's basically it with the video. Once again, if you did enjoy, make sure to drop a subscribe down below. I do apologize for my voice. I'm a little late recording this at night. Uh, I'm about to go on vacation for two weeks, so I had a lot of pre-recording to do. Uh, it's just late at night, so I do apologize for my voice on this one. It is a little bit weird. Uh, if you do need any help with the farm, make sure to join the Discord down below. We have lots of great conversations in there, and I also am 
Very happy to help you guys with the farm. Uh, you can share screenshots here. You can even send me the IP to your server. If you're playing on a server on Discord, and I'd be happy to help hop on and help you as well. And there we go again. Very, very tired. Uh, without further ado, I guess I'll conclude this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, smash the subscribe button, and have an easy going day. I'll catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.